bring you the latest in the world of sports. I'm Paolo Del Rosario. Stations you want to hear from your favorite icons and athletes. I'm Diego Dario. And in tonight's game plan, Joe Maraginot and Sati Espiritu join us as we dive into the new look roster of the Bali Pure Water Defenders. We'll also find out how much does a UAAP courtside reporter become part of the team with Joe Marginot and her season 77 CSR friend of the show, Laura Liman Pesumal. And we'll go through some of the greatest Miami Heat players of all time with Barangay Ginebra's own Joe Logo. Buckle up, sports fans. Let's get in the game. Now, the world continues to shake for the Premier Volleyball League as changes keep on coming for our teams. Now, let's take a look at some of the new look Valley Pure Water defenders. As we can see in a list that's about to come up right now, they have six mainstays and eight new players bannered by former Ateneo Lady Eagle Joe Marginot. Now, joining us tonight to talk about their new look team, we have mainstay Sati Espiritu and new addition Joe Mariginot of the Bali Pure Water Defenders. Ladies, welcome to the game. Thank you very much for joining us here tonight. At uh, alam ko that uh, this is still a weird setup considering that we're all far apart from each other. But again, thank yeah. you very much. Una -una. Joe, happy birthday. Huh? Uh, I hope you enjoy your celebration Joe. more. All right, so Joe, Joe, can you take us through the decision making process? Mo, but mo pinili yung Bali Pure. Um, well, because it was hard for us. I mean, everyone from Bali Pure, ah, uh, Perlas, <laughs> everyone mm -hmm. from Perlas. Um, syempre, it was so sudden na parang na caught off guard din kami na biglang nawala yung Perlas. Pero parang um. I'm glad that Bali Pure accepted me and yung ibang players then kasi nga um marami ring teams na nawala de ba so parang I'm just really thankful for Bali Pure for accepting us newcomers. Yeah, I'm sure all of the fans are also excited uh, to see you guys play together you know with all of you the new new women that are joining your team pero kay Sati naman uh, ano yung initial reaction mo nung nalaman mo yung names ng bagong talents na papasok sa team niyo eh ikaw naman you're a mainstay already in this team um i was shocked sa una kasi i didn't know the lineup until i saw the tweet of philippine star <laughs> so I, i had no idea um who would be um included sino yung mga teammate ko and i was shocked to see Joe Maragino sa lineup and I'm like okay <laughs> yun yung first reaction ko wow we have Joe Maragino that was my first reaction grabe actually sabi nga ni Joe that you accepted her already na accept mo ba talaga na <laughs> nandiyan si Joe sabi <laughs> accepted ko grabe kasi naman charo <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, uh, Joe, siempre a new team um, coming into it. You have a lot of uh, you have a lot of people that you're gonna get to know. Uh, are you excited to be teammates with anyone in particular? Anyone specific? Um, actually, with everyone, because most of them first time ko mahakasama, and you know, I mean, I'm medyo shy, so parang. <laughs> Pero nakita ko naman last PBL na parang sobrang fun nilang maging teammates. Parang tawa lang din sila ng tawa. So, excited akong makitawa lang sa kanila. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure shy ka off the court. Pero grabe yung power mo rin on the court, uh, Joe. Pero let's move on to uh, sa kay Sati naman. All due respect to uh, former Bali Pure Talents like you know Grace Bombita. Pero ano yung nakikita mong upside sa team sa bagong team niyo na meron ngayon kasi as a player medyo exciting na may bagong players tsaka yung goal niya syempre is still to win
Okay, I think naghang yung uh, video mm-hmm. at yung audio ni Sati. So, we'll just ask, we'll just talk to Joe muna. Sorry, Joe. Parang biglang naging uh, solo interview eh. Uh, pero, <laughs> alam mo, yung team na to, uh, parang may, mas may, mas balance ngayon eh, in terms of attack. Mm-hmm. In fact, that was one of the things that uh, yung, yung, ma- yung manager nyo mentioned that yung mga moves nyo ngayon will try to make balance out yung atake ng Bali Pure. Nakita mo ba yon B- base sa mga pangalan na sumama sa Bali Pure? Actually, nung sinabi sa akin kung sino yung magiging um, teammates ko like, and yung bagong names, parang sa- nagulat din ako na parang wow, parang first, kasi nga first time ko yun silang makakasama. So, parang parang I think malakas yung malaki yung potential namin this season kasi Ewan ko, ako na excited ako just looking at the names. And excited ako kung paano kami makakapag-gel inside the court. Yes, for sure. Eh, Joan, ano naman, nung nakita mo naman yung list na yun, ano yung naisip mo agad na magiging identity ng team ninyo? Kahit di pa kayo nakaka-practice together, ano yung magiging identity nyo sa coming conference ng PBL? Well, I think mamementain pa rin yung um, pagiging... Um, what do you call this? Parang maging masaya lang with mm-hmm. in every game. Because I think yun yung na-establish ng Bali Pier last season. So I think ma, yun, ma, ma-retain namin yun. And I think mas, ma, mas magiging masaya kami this conference. <laughs> Speaking of uh, mas magiging masaya, uh, Sati is now back. Uh, Sati, thank Yay. you very much for joining us <laughs> once again. Uh, pero, syempre, Sati, as, as we were uh, talking about how the team has come about, uh, we mentioned that yung pagpasok ni Joe and the rest of the new players, again, eight new players, parang may hinahanap na balance yung team. Eh. And do you feel that uh, with the moves made, mas balance yung team ngayon uh, going into the next conference? Again, can you repeat the last? Part. I'm so sorry. Sorry, um, do you think that mas balanced na yung team na to, yung Bali Pure, going uh, to the next conference? Yeah. Uh-uh. Um, it's, the, uh, um, it's more equipped than the previous seasons. So, mga needed. Kasi we saw the weak, the coaches, the management saw our weaknesses um, in the past conference. Eh, they definitely made an adjustment um, for this team. So, I can definitely say na more, more equipped kami to handle or to ba... Um, go against um, the other teams compared last time. So, yeah, if, if we're talking about balance, yeah, it's definitely more balanced now. Okay, Sati, medyo ano tayo sa team tayo nag-focus. Pero now let's focus on you guys, kayong dalawa. Um, let's say is a scout niyo yung isa't isa. Ano yung favorite thing niyo about each other? So, let's say, Sati, ikaw, ano yung favorite thing mo uh, kay Joe as a volleyball player? As a ball, but so on the court. Okay, sige. Oh, on, on the, the court. court. On the court. Parang kailangan specific. Okay, so ako mo lang. <laughs> Feeling ko walang mababanggit si Joe para sa akin, pero sige. So, hmm. ang dami ka. Ang dami kong, um, unang-una is yung, well, she's known for her her hands na grabe, hindi ko mabasa. So, hindi ko talaga mabasa. Like, I don't know if it's where the direction of the ball dahil dun sa kamay niyang, sorry Jo, ah, pero grabe, oo, oh, oh, hirap ko akong basahin. <laughs> jo, oh, so ikaw I naman, uh, since, uh, sa kanya. alam mo, Jo, sabi ni Sati, you can't say anything about her on the court. Sige, off the court na lang. Why are you excited to be working with si Sati? <laughs> well, I've heard na very, <laughs> very makulit daw siya. So, excited ako kasi wala, Ah, minsan kasi sa team yung ambag ko, tawa lang eh. So, baka yan lang din ulit yung ambag ko this time. <laughs> Again, uh, alam mo, based on uh, this interview, feeling ko tamang scouting report mo, Joe, na makulang talaga sa uh, But you know what? Uh, we wish we had more time to have the both of you on. But now we gotta move on. Sati, maraming salama. Thank you very much for joining us. We hope to talk to you again soon at sana hindi mawala yung connection mo. At, uh, <laughs> Thank you, Sati. Thank you. But si Jo, she, she's going to stay with us. After the break, we'll find out how much does a UAAP courtside reporter become part of the team with Jo Maraginot and her Season 77 CSR, Laura Lima. Stay tuned. You're watching the game.
All right, everyone. Thank you very much for joining us here on the game on Facebook Live. That was Ati Espiritu. Joe Mar- Mariginot will stay with us. And uh, coming right up, the original co-anchor ng The Game. Actually, siya yung mukha ng game talaga eh. Kasi really, people like her face more than mine. Uh, Laura Lehman <laughs> Pesumal coming up very, very soon. Stay here for that one. We replaced Lau with Jego and we're not quite sure if that's working. Hmm. I don't know. The iba OG. kasi yung market mo, Jegs eh. Na iba-iba. Magkaiba, sobrang iba naman. So, oh, oh. But of course, it's happy. I'm happy that Laura is here. Back on the show mm-hmm. as a guest. Yep, yep. So, when we return, Laura Lehman and Joe Marginot. Stay here for that. Welcome back to the game. I'm Diego Dario. Aside from being in every game, a courtside reporter maybe might as well be part of their home team as they also sometimes attend trainings and other team functions. Tonight, we'll find out how much does a courtside reporter become part of a team with former Ateneo Lady Eagle Joe Maraginot and Ateneo Season 77 and 78 courtside reporter and the original partner of Paulo Del Rosario, Laura Liman Pesumal. Joe Lau, welcome back. Who's, who's this girl? Sino siya? Sino siya? Hi, guys. All right, guys. Hey, uh, Lau, Joe, thank you very much for joining us. Lau, welcome back to the show. Uh, first of all, now, I, we have to talk about the whole courtside experience. And, uh, mm-hmm. syempre, we brought in your rookie, si uh, Joe. Unang-una, ano yung first impressions mo kay Joe? Kasi parang tahimik niya eh. <laughs> Ay, ganyan yung question agad. First impression ko kay Joe. Uh, well, you're right, Pao. She was very, very quiet. And mm. um, I was quite hesitant to approach her because I, w- I wasn't sure if she would talk to me seeing as she was so quiet. Kaya nagulat ako once nag-step siya on court, iba yung personality niya. Intense mm-hmm. niya kapag uh, may game na and she's just so fierce and um, she's really a competitor while she's playing but off court, she's completely different. Alright. Joe, ikaw naman, ano yung first impression mo kay Laura Liman when when yeah. she was uh, the court side for Ateneo? <laughs> Ay. Ay, wait lang, parang na-attack agad ako ni Lau doon. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, when I first met her, I think sa training yon punta siya sa training pa. Sabi niya, hi guys, I'm Lau, I'm your courtside reporter for this season. Tapos <laughs> parang kami, uy, very ano naman siya, sobrang, ano to, dalagang Pilipina, ganyan. Tapos hindi, Ako, di ko alam kung paano rin siya approach kasi parang feeling ko parang coming shy. So parang <laughs> how would I how would I talk to her ganyan? Pero sobrang kulit ni Lau. Huh? Oh my gosh. Binabuli niya kami. Kasi <laughs> hindi totoo yan. Nakakatakot ba si Lau? Ilaglag mo na, Joe. <laughs> ano mo, ano, minsan, nakasmile lang siya, tapos sa side, aawayan ka na niya. Wow! Kasi! Kailan ka close yung mga courtside reporters sa Galing players, siya. guys. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Grabe, um, hindi naman. <laughs> Grabe. Pero um, may naman si Lau. Well, you know, that just goes to show you just how close CSRs get. Uh, <laughs> Lau, when you... When you go into work and you start uh, getting close to this team, how how was how did they accept you at, at first, or how how would you earn your trust nila uh, throughout your time there, CSR? Well, to be honest, pal, coming in, I was very intimidated, especially with. Oh no! No, wala ba sila? Oh? I think, I think yeah. so. I think so. Joe, are you still with us? Naman ulit Hala, Joe. Nag- Ay, grabe, Joe. Alam mo, ikaw yung nagsasabotahe dito eh. Alam, <laughs> uh, sorry. <laughs> no, no worries, no worries. Uh, pero Joe, syempre, with Lau coming in, uh, courtside reporters do play a big role dito sa coverage ng, uh, uh, ng UAAP. Uh, is, was there a moment that you felt na you could trust Lau to tell your story properly? Kasi syempre, sila yung magiging bosses nyo eh. Uh, to some extent. Eh. Um, Lau kasi is, ano, um, malambeng the way mm-hmm. she talks, di ba? So parang, pag ina-ask niya kami, parang, pag, uh, kunwari, pag may game kami, 
Hi Jo, how are you? Are you ready for today's game? Ganun siya. So parang ikaw, di ba? Parang maano ka rin. Hi lang, I'm okay naman. <laughs> Uh, uh, sorry, Joe. Ah, nandito na si Lau. And uh, yeah. just, just so everyone knows, Lau, we've talked about you the entire time you were gone. Oh, right? no. Oh, no. Jex, get us going here. Okay, uh, let's go back to Lau since she's back. Lau, um, how close are you with the team? Like, as a courtside mm-hmm. reporter, like, how involved are you in all the processes of, you know, competing in the UAAP? Very involved. Um, I think especially with what happened to me, my very first year in Ateneo was the first year I became courtside. So I knew no one else in the school other than the volleyball girls and the basketball boys. So they really became my close friends. I mean, my hus- he became my husband even eventually. Yeah. Um, so you get very close just because you have to earn their trust. I mean, they tell you what's happening on the team. They they trust you with that information. And in order to give good reports, you have to make sure that you know them well enough to report on them. And it's just an amazing experience because you feel like a member of the team. I mean, even though my dreams of becoming a volleyball player never came true, I Hmm. still kind of felt like I was one just because I got to sit on the sidelines. And it was just an amazing learning experience. And it made me who I am today. Joe, so you're becoming part of the team, Lau? Baka feeling lang, baka feeling part lang eh, hindi talaga. Actually, there was a time na nakikip ball passing siya sa amin. Tapos, yes, that's um, true. Kami, kasi cute siya kasi parang sobrang pa-sweet siya. Ganun. Pero marunong But naman. Nakakasabay siya sa inyo. Nakakaya naman niya. At okay naman. Cute, na, okay. cute lang. Cute lang. <laughs> <laughs> um, of course, uh, Lau, this whole, siyempre, we have you here also because we're going through that search right now, looking for the next court side, the reporter. Mm-hmm. And uh, siyempre, you know, her Joe, uh, while, while you were gone, she was actually telling us that they, you earned their trust as a court side reporter uh, during your time with them. Diba? Tama naman yan, diba, Joe? She, she did, diba, diba? Okay. Yeah. Right. Uh, now your course, message to future to future courtside reporters who probably are thinking twice about it or mm-hmm. those who are nervous for your opportunity to talk to all these great athletes. Um, I guess my advice would really just to put your whole heart into it. Um, because you're not only representing yourself as a reporter or um, as a host, you're representing your entire school, which is so important because you're the person that they see on camera, um, they hear your voice, and you, you want to do your best because you're representing your whole community and your whole school. And the, the, the only trade-off to that, it, I mean, is putting extra work into your reports. And you only do that, and you get to sit sidelines on the games, and so many doors will, will open up to you. And I mean, that's how I met you guys. That's how I met you, Pao. Eventually from courtside, I, I came onto the game. So it's just, yeah, it's a great opportunity. Thanks, Lau. And uh, alam mo, I think that's uh, not not a great a plus. Uh, become a courtside reporter, meet me. I don't think that's a, that's a <laughs> great area. But again, all joking aside, Joe, maraming salamat. Thank you for uh, telling us all the embarrassing stories about Lau. Good luck sa PBL. <laughs> And of course, good luck on your new team. Lau, uh, I did not write this, but the next line says, uh, you will always be part of the game. <laughs> Maraming salamat. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Lau. Thank you, Joe. Uh, right, thank, thank you. Guys. Thank you. All right. Now, do you want to be the next Laura Lehman and be a part of mm-hmm. your university sports team? Now is your chance to audition as the next UAAP courtside reporter. If you are 18 to 23 years old, currently enrolled in a UAAP school and fluent in both English and Tagalog, submit your CV and a 90-second headshot video with brief introduction and why you want to be a courtside reporter to the email on your screens on or before February 6, 2022. Now, when we return... We'll find out who tops the list of all-time greatest Miami Heat players in history. Keep it here. You're watching the game. I don't think we were too mean, Jags, too loud. I think we were We were, okay. we were yeah. We were yeah. Just, just the right amount of... Uh... Being mean and being nice and polite. Of course. So, we're just tough love. 
bro. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we love her on the show. We love her on the show. And uh it's going to be it's going to be a you know, um it's going to be a great uh, opportunity syempre for those who want to be the next Laura Liman. Uh, we can't promise na magiging beauty queen kayo after you become a CSR. <laughs> but, you know, it's uh, always a great chance for everyone to, uh, you know, expand. Oh, open doors. You mentioned opening doors yeah. to things that uh, they did not, um, you know, uh, opening doors to, uh, that she didn't expect, really. And uh, hopefully, you know, we get to meet those new court center parties soon. Uh, up next, though, Jegs, medyo galit ako sa susunod natin na guest eh. Kasi nakita oh, ko yung listahan niya. Uh, of uh, Miami Heat all-time greats and may nakalimutan siya para sa akin eh. Medyo maraming yata rin magagalit dito kay Jolo. Pero since teammate ko siya dati, uh, take it easy on him, guys. Oh, okay, <laughs> sige, sige. Just because he knows Diego, be extra mean. Yan yung ano. Uh, yan yung mangyayari. Okay, guys. Uh, when we return, Jolo, go! Here on the game. Well, you're watching the game. I'm Paulo De Rosario. Let's bring it to the NBA where we are always a fan of all-time franchise players. And this time around, we're taking a look at the Miami Heat. Now, joining us tonight to give us his picks for all-time Heat players in history, Barangay Hinebra 3x3 Zone, Jolo Go. Jolo, welcome to the game. Um, hello, good evening. Good evening. Uy, ayan, yan yung okay, yan yung gusto ko. Walang po. Uh, Jolo... <laughs> Before we get starting on your uh, get started rather on your list here for all-time greats. Uh, pag-usapan muna natin yung current Miami Heat roster. 30 to 17. Ano yung thoughts mo sa squad na yon? Nagulat ka ba that number 1 sila sa East? Um, uh, actually hindi naman sobra kasi parang for me sobrang balanse ng team nila. Eh. Um um tapos yung maganda pa yung mga main guys nila willing to defend. And as a team, ang galing nila dumipensa. So, yun. So, defensively, siguro kaya sila medyo okay sa standings or number one sila. Actually, Jolo, nung teammates pa tayo sa Gilas, tsaka nung sa UAP na rin, Miami fan ka na talaga nun eh. Pero sa tingin mo, uh, makakabalik ba sila sa finals this year? Ngayon na number one sila sa East. Pero ang daming superstars din sa East eh. Actually, ko kaya eh. Kasi pag tinignan yung lineup nila, yun nga eh. Kasi yung main guys nila, parang defensive minded eh hindi lang mm. di ba usually pag Brooklyn Nets the run hard then mm-hmm. more scoring eh. pero ito they can score tapos yun yung defense saka yung teamwork nila parang talagang maganda yung ball movement nila may shooter sila so medyo kumpleto yung team nila and may experience na rin naman sila sa finals so siguro may chance sila Alright, so we asked you for a list of your top three all-time Miami Heat players. So, all-time to, ah, so you can go all the way back. Uh, unahan muna natin yung honorable mention. Kasi, mm-hmm. syempre, the top three, mas, ano yan, eh, mas uh, controversial yan. Eh. Yung honorable mention mo, Chris Bosh, two-time NBA champion, seven-time All-Star during the Heat uh, tenure niya at na-retiring jersey niya, uh, the number one. Uh, Gano'n ka-importante yung si Chris Bosh sa legacy ng Miami Heat? Siguro yung nag-run sila nung yung big three nila. Siguro pag, ano eh, syempre, we all know, LeBron James and Dwayne Wade yung main focus. Pero siguro, siya yung nagpapahirap mas lalo sa teams. Kasi, ano eh, um, yung, sk- yung skill set niya, pwede sa outside, kung gusto niya pumoste, tapos pwede mag-dribble. So, yun, ang, ang hirap niyang depensahan din. Tapos may Wade and LeBron ka pa. So, siguro sobrang laking... Bagay niya na nung champion sila, back-to-back nung 13 and 14. So, yeah. Yes, for sure. Actually, uh, what could have been also to si Chris Bosch no, if he didn't um, have that, uh, you know, health issue that cut his career short, baka mas gumagana pa siya sa game ngayon with, uh, mm. you know, big man shooting from the outside. Pero, Joe, punta naman tayo sa, ano, sa list mo na sana hindi naman magalit yung mga fans dito. Sa oh, list mo. Na ako, eh. oh, Ay, hindi na nga nagsusmile si Pau eh. Pero, Joe, <laughs> yung third pick mo, all-time Heat player, 
you chose Jimmy Butler. Ano yung sa tingin mo, bakit siya yung uh, napunta sa list mo? Actually, kanina yung naisip ko na yan. Eh. Kasi first talaga naisip ko, Shaq. Siyempre. Hmm. Tapos Bosch or Shaq yung naisip ko. Actually, si Morning naisip ko rin ba? Kasi kaso, naisip ko, masyado pa akong bata nun eh. <laughs> Pareho tayo, Gen Z tayo, ano eh, Jolo eh. <laughs> so, yun. Kaya napili ko lang si Jimmy Butler kasi wala, out of nowhere, nadala niya, for me, siya nagdala sa heat sa finals eh. Diba, no one expected naman na aabot sila sa finals pero yun nga, yung leadership niya, talagang pinakita niya na nag-run sila. So, yun lang siguro yung yung thing na naisip ko kaya ako siya nalagay sa top 3 sa Miami Heat. Alright, syempre, now we move on to number two. Ito medyo, you know, I'm not surprised anymore na ito yung pinili mo for number two because grabe yung legacy niya doon. Uh, LeBron James, uh, two NBA titles, two finals MVP with the Heat. Siya nagpasimuno ng The Heatles and uh, led the Heat to three straight finals appearances and of course, uh, two championships with that. Ano yung legacy niya doon? Uh, siguro yung time na nag-heat siya, sobrang peak niya yun. Eh. Kasi di na siya sobrang bata, di na siya, di, di siya matanda. Nun. So siguro yung uh, doon niya mas napabagal yung game niya for me. As, uh, tapos siguro naging mas complete siya nung time na yun. And wala eh, LeBron James eh. So unstoppable lahat, kaya niyang gawin. Eh. Sa tingin mo ba yung nasa Miami Heat si LeBron James, um, they could have won more with the lineup that they have? Or... Um, mahirap talaga yung mga nakatapat nila nung time na yun. Siguro, yung first finals appearance nila dapat sa kanila yun. Eh. Pero ang galing mm-hmm. ni Dirk talaga. And yung, mm-hmm. nabu- yung buong talas yun, sobrang grabe yung team effort siguro nila. So, and yun nga, first year siguro ng big three, ng bagong team. So, siguro medyo nag-struggle sila sa chemistry that time. You know, uh, yung last pick mo, I think, Jegs, I think you have to agree with me that uh, we have no complaints about this pick. Tama ba? Yeah, ito lang tingin ko yung hindi controversial medyo na pick ni Jolo. Eh. So, Jo, for your number one player of all time for the Miami Heat, Dwayne Wade, number three jersey retired for the franchise, three-time NBA champion, uh, finals MVP as well. Um, What makes him the greatest Miami Heat player para sa'yo, Jolo? Well, first of all, siya yung Dylan kaya naging heat, uh, naging heat fan ako eh. Hmm. Kasi yung game niya, wala. Ano talaga eh, ang flashy. Tapos, ano eh. For me kasi, ano, tapos yung nag-champion sila, ito yung parang lagi kong naisip nun eh. For me, parang nag-giveaway siya kay Lebron eh. Yung ego niya, binabahan niya. Kasi syempre, alam naman natin siya yung face ng Miami for how many years. I mean, buong, maya, di ba? Pero yeah. nung time na pumasok si Lebron, parang nakita ko sa kanya yung pagiging mature niya sobra. Na hindi, hindi siya nakikipag-agawan kay Lebron. Uh, pag time pag time ni Lebron, time ni Lebron. Pero pag medyo off ni Lebron, dun siya, dun siya gagawa naman sa, sa kanya. And yun, saka yung first championship nila ni Shaq noong 2006. Talagang feel ko nadala niya yung buong team. Kasi kung titignan yung team nun, hindi naman talaga star-studded. Pero okay yung Okay talaga yung mga role players sila. Pero yung mga performances niya nung 2006, grabe. Grabe yung pagbuhat niya sa Miami. Yeah, uh, again, no complaints there. Si Dwayne Wade, uh, greatest all-time Heat player. And uh, I have a feeling that, you know, very little argument for anyone else. Pero as I mentioned a while ago, Jegs, galit talaga ako eh, nawala si Alonzo morning eh. Alam ko, <laughs> bagets ka pa nun, Okay. But still... Oh, di na namin naabutan si Alonzo Mourinho. Ay, 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 sa PlayStation ko na lang kasi siya nakilala. <laughs> <laughs> Look, for all of those uh, all of those into yung hoop history, I, I encourage you to look up uh, yung time ni Alonzo Mourning at ni Tim Hardaway Sr. Yeah. back then. Kasi Actually, grabe kasi, talaga. Kasi sila yung naisip kong dalawa kanina. Uh, yeah. Sabi, yun yung kasi hindi ko napanood. Diba, Jax, di natin napanood yun. So, hindi <laughs> na namin napanood eh. Kaya, yeah, medyo, medyo appreciate siguro yung greatness nila. <laughs> <laughs> Oo, pero uh, again, uh, for those, look it up. Kasi ibang klase talaga. I actually picked them over Shaq. That, that's how great the both of them were. Jolo, maraming salamat. Uh, thank you very much for joining us and sharing all your thoughts. So, even though hindi ako agree sa isang choice mo. <laughs> but uh, thank you again. Thank, thank you, Jolo. Thank you, thank you po. And thank you guys for joining us. That's it for tonight. I'm Diego Dario. Catch us weeknights here on One News, One Sports, and One Sports Plus. I'm Paolo Del Rosario. This has been The Game.